Hello. Um, I'm making this video to talk about the uh, Zenith Circle of Sound record player. Um, this video is actually going to accompany the uh, kits that I sell on eBay for recapping the amplifier. Um, I get a lot of questions from new people, new people to the electronics hobby about how to do this and the best way to go about it and um, just general information so this is really really basic um, I'm sure the experts um, will have plenty to say but it's just a basic <laughs> explanation uh, of how to replace capacitors in this unit um, as you can see here we got a schematic uh, from the Photofax folks uh, Sam's Photofax um, that actually accompanies the kit um, and as you can see we're upside down showing the amplifier and immediately looking in here you see these really big battery like looking things that's what some somebody uh, said to me is like How, are those batteries uh, no these are capacitors and um, there's a whole uh, explanation about what they do and how they do it but we're not going to get into that we just basically had to replace them um, without having to read a schematic because if you've never done it before it can be kind of daunting as you can see um, but if you're willing to learn that's another story in another video anyway so looking here immediately you can see this big guy right here he's a thousand uh, MFD or UF capacitor and he's leaking physically leaking that's uh, the gel stuff in there that has burst open so if your record player is making some kind of weird humming sound or just generally not working properly at all it can be pretty much attributed to what's going on here in these caps these are 50 year old caps so they're old they're worn out they need to be replaced resistors and these uh mica i think the ceramic discs sorry i've never had a bad one in one of these units and i've restored about 25 of them but the, the uh, electrolytic caps always always replace them so what we got here we've got actual axial capacitors and they're axial capacitors not actual but axial because they have uh, the connections on both ends whereas the radial which is used more often now in modern electronics is coming out that way at both at the at the, uh, at the end there I don't know whether the way to explain it but that's called a radial Anyway, so the biggest thing to remember when you're replacing your capacitors is that electrolytics are polarized. As you can see, there's a plus and a plus sign and a plus sign. This one's actually got red on it as well to tell you that this is the positive end of the capacitor. Just like this one, positive end of the capacitor. Now, modern capacitors don't have that plus or colors normally, but what they do have is this arrow which points to the negative side of the capacitor so that's the negative side of the capacitor another little trick is to look at this end which is, has this kind of little ridge and is also uh, insulated whereas this one isn't it's actually connected to the can this is a positive side so when you put your capacitors in you want to make sure that each capacitor is the correct way it was originally placed positive negative as you can see that is the negative side because it's pointing down to the negative side positive right there now what I do is especially on a new unit that I'm not familiar with is take photographs take a nice big photograph with your iPhone whatever phone Android phone take some individual ones and then you'll always see which is where is what is going and you're not going to get into trouble as you can see plus is right there on this side plus is up here with that little ridge negative no insulation so and also what I do is I take one off at a time and when I cut it as I'm going to do right here is I cut the lead up close to here boom and I cut the lead close to here boom and I place it to the side the exact same way as it came out so if I get distracted by this cup of tea
I come back, I go, oh, it's actually lined up the way it came out. Now, a lot of purists will, will uh, say, you know, break this solder here, break that solder there. As you can see, this guy right here goes right into there to those resistors. I don't actually do that on old, old stuff. I don't break the solder at the actual soldering point because you're going to introduce a lot of heat with this old solder, especially on the metal components, to get that solder to, to basically melt so you can get it out and replace it. What I do is, and I'm sure other people do it as well, is I leave these nice little leads, as you can see right here, I leave these nice little leads, this one is actually the grounded end of the capacitor, which was positive, it's positively grounded. And what I like to do is kind of, that's, yeah, measure it up, oh, that's going to fit. And then I make these nice little coils like this. Just run this little jeweler screwdriver. Let's do this one. Sometimes you're going to cut them to fit. Sometimes they're too long. Sometimes they're too short. But generally you have enough room. And there you have some nice little spirals on those ends of those connectors. And you're going to pop it on there. He says, like that. And then this one, like that. And then you're going to hot solder all along this little joint right here. And it's going to fill in all these little coils and make a nice connection. I haven't gone wrong once. So that's the way I do it. And like I said, there'll be plenty of comments about purists who say you shouldn't do this, do that. But I don't believe breaking that solder just to get that out is worth the time or the, uh, the damage I think sometimes that heat can give to other components, not necessarily the wires, but if you were like with near a transistor, you're gonna like over here, you're going to introduce a lot of heat, like right here, into those transistors, which, you know, they don't need it. They're old already. So I hope that explains briefly on how to replace the capacitors in this uh, Zenith Circular Sound Unit. So should you buy the kit, you now have a video idea of how to go about it. Great. Thank you so much for watching and uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.